Hi guys, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this nice gradient logos and uh, the reason why I choose this uh, three guys is that uh, they are all share the same approach, the same technique to create this stuff and uh, I think this is the best technique that I want to uh, show you right now here in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with a new document, go to file, new. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 and 1080 and click create. And uh, please allow me to grab these gradients on my new artboard. And as always I want to turn off the align to pixel grid and enlarge the row size of my layers so everybody can see them easily. First of all, I want to create a circle, so uh, grab your ellipse tool, hit on your artboard and make sure that you link between width and height and set the value of 700 pixels. Click OK and align the circle both horizontally and vertically to the artboard. Choose align to artboard and align horizontally and vertically and I want to swap my gradient fill, uh, swap the fill and stroke and set the stroke to black I want to leave the stroke weight to 1 pixels then I want to create a smaller copy of that so go to the scale tool, double click on it set the uniform to 35% and click copy to create a small, smaller duplicate enlarge the stroke uh, stroke weight to one point so now we have uh, two circles and we need to create another one so go to your ellipse tool hit on your artboard and set the value of 474 pixels click ok now we have this circle, we need to align them uh, horizontally to the center and then select this large circle and this medium newly created and uh, go to switch the top to align the selection and align them both to the top then group them using your right mouse button context menu and uh, then align them both horizontally to the and vertically to the artboard and then ungroup them just to make sure that yeah, they are aligned then I want to select this middle circle and using my up arrow key only once click only once to drag it to the top then I want to switch to the outline mode using Ctrl Y or Command Y on your mark. Select this middle newly created circle. Go to your uh, rotate tool or click R. And there is a center. If you can see the center, turn on your smart guides. Go to view and turn on the smart guides or click Ctrl Y, Command Y. Here I want to Alt click or Option click and to open the rotate dialog box. And here I want to set the angle 120 uh, degrees and click copy. And then I want to Ctrl D or Command D to repeat this operation. And now I want to create my first duplicate, this on my left, and using Arrow, left arrow key only once, drag it to the left and do the same with the right but drag it to the opposite direction so click only once right button key. I want to create three duplicates of this stuff and I want to drag it on my side. So I want to create, uh, I want to uh, work with only middle duplicate. Grab your uh, shape builder tool and select this shape. One, two, and three. 
So we have now these three shapes and we can enter the normal mode, your preview mode, with Ctrl Y, Command Y. And I want to give them, I want to clean up a little bit this logo by deleting all the unnecessary stuff. So I want to put this stuff on the new layer, clicking on this la layer, create a new layer icon on my layer panel, grab it here, open and select all of my shapes. There are three of them, I want to group them. And maybe I want to click on this free space to lock them. Then select all of the another stuff and delete all of the stuff. So I cl uh, clean up my document. Now I can ungroup using my right mouse button key. And I want to give them this gradient. So this is not not very complicated gradient. I will show you how it works. So it's radial gradient with uh, uh, three color stops. Uh, rightmost color stop is the most most darkest color and most saturated. This is less saturated and uh, more brighter. And this is the leftmost is uh, very bright. So as you can see here and. Uh, as you can see, the shape of this gradient, let me grab my... This is a simple uh, circle here. I didn't uh, change the direction of this gradient. So we, we have created our first ring. Let me lock this layer and make it invisible for a while, because I want to create a second ring. I want to grab this shape scale a little bit my artwork and then I want to grab my shape builder tool and select the shape no it doesn't work so I want to first of all control y command y to enter my outline mode and I want to scale the circle onto pixels one two to the size of 247 pixels like so and try again with my shape builder tool now it works well and I'm ready to create the shape as you can see these shapes is uh, create uh, not a triangle shape in the middle but circle I want to leave my outline mode and give a gradient to this guy. Sample this gradient. This gradient is building with the same approach as the previous one. So from the left to the right, color uh, become more more uh, saturated and less bright. Oh, and uh, I didn't mention. Uh, type of our gradient, this is a radial gradient. So I do not want to clean up this logo because I want to hustle a little bit my tutorial. We are ready to create the most complicated logo. Uh, this logo. And uh, we need to, to, to do a two additional steps. First of all, I want to Enter my outline mode with Ctrl Y, Command Y. Then I want to scale uh, my uh, small uh, circle with the to 247 because I know that uh, th 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 this is work. And then I want to select this ring on my right and cl uh, click Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make a duplicate and work with the con this duplicate. First of all, I want to drag this bending box to make this uh, circle wider and then scale it down, down a little bit here 
and maybe uh, make it a little bit more wider and then I want to grab my Dirac selection tool and drag on this point like so and I also want to drag this handle I want to drag this point first and then this candle and I want to change the direction of this candle like so so we, uh, now we have this line that is crossing our shape this shape on the middle and this is what actually actually what I want I want a little bit change the direction here and now we and now that we have this shape this is I want to rotate it with the rotate tool click R on your keyboard and then alt uh, alt option click on the center and uh, make rotation on 120 degrees click copy and then ctrl D to make it duplicate and uh, now we have a bunch of shapes I want to select all of them and try to create stuff I need I created first shape I created second shape and do the same with uh, another shapes so Uh, yes, we are done. I hope you've uh, done this better than me because my shape is need uh, some adjustments here and here. The aim of this tutorial is actually to show you a technique, not the actual end-to-end -end workflow. So let's uh, move forward. Let's add some gradients to our final shape. I simply want to uh, first of all clean up all the shapes so I want to delete this, this, I want to delete the circles and this little uh, guys here and uh, again the circles and we have a bunch of circles actually so I clean up my shape and I am ready to apply a gradient this is the same gradient that this and this is a radial gradient with a, a default direction actually and uh, it's uh, tuned from uh, more bright and less saturated to the uh, more, saturate, uh, more saturated and less bright uh, let me make them visible of course uh, you can download this for free on my tutorials.net. If you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to thumb up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for following today. I wish you a good day.